Yeah, but here's the deal. You were saying some of them the crane binds up. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, that's what I'm saying. This will pull out what the crane won't. Instead of working yourself, though. Can you go to the next level? See, I know that I can't do it at the next level. Oh, you can't? Ah. Oh. So. Ah, oh, okay. pounds of pulling pressure right there. You think your crane can pull it? Yeah. You want to bring it over and show me? Because I'll tell you what, I doubt it can. Yeah, but you use it. Second position, right? Uh-huh. I was pulling it out with the ten thousand pound position. Oh, okay, I think that's why I didn't move it to the second position because yeah, okay. I'm not he, he don't move it to the second, right? Okay, I got it. Just to show you two hundred and fifty yeah. pound man at the end of this is pulling it out. Yeah, Mike, yeah. You see what I mean? That's ten thousand pounds right there. Yeah. And you're telling me a lot of these older ones, you can't get them out. Oh, what the hell? 
Hey, the other one will come down with Our normal connection was we would cut this off right here. No, we get better leverage. <laughs> get better leverage and use this. Oh, okay. Because this holds better than that. You know? But we're not trying to catch our stuff. I don't set it up. We're pulling straight up and filling it in the vine. Okay, are ready? If I break this, I don't have to buy it, right? You won't. You won't break it. You won't break okay. it. Okay. That's it.
I think you can even go to the next uh, step, which is the uh, the six thousand. I'm in pounds anyway. That that's ten thousand in the uh, front, but it's only moving like an inch mm -hmm. or inch and a half. I think you can go to the next step. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Six eight thousand pounds of pressure right there that he was putting on it. Right. Now all of a sudden he's got twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. One hand. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. See how that chain slipped down? Let yeah. him do that. Yeah, go ahead. Now it's back out to the one you got your hand on, right? right. Now, I mean, you see what I mean? You see the... Uh -huh. So now you should go just ahead. be able to... I, I think you can just pull down on that thing. The, ch the chain keeps sliding down on it and grab it, right? Yeah. I see it now. Yeah. yeah. What it feel like? Easy? It's easy. Can you get a longer bolt? <coughs> a long one? A longer one? <laughs> Haven't you got a two foot bolt there? Keith, oh, what you doing? Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. He's doing it right, it's just a really long bolt. Three holes sometimes don't be all the way open. It probably be. There you go. There you go. All the bolts are the same, Kelly. They are? Same size? Yeah. Okay. Sign bolts. And then the other thing is, uh, if you look at a high ball, uh,
It keeps slipping down, so if you hold, okay. yeah, hold that tight up against the bowl. Oh, what? Yeah, there you go. All right, now come over here. Yeah, well, come, bring your handle all the way up. Okay, now pull the chain up. Yeah. There you go. Give yourself a little space here. Yeah? Oh, there you go. And pull that again. Yeah. Uh, ARA show. American Rental Association. So all the uh, rental companies belong to yeah, United and uh, Sunbelt, Herc and everyone. Uh, that's going to be in... Uh, there you go. What I was saying just now, if you've got a big stop sign on you, or if you've got a double sign, how are you going to do that? You have to do it this way, you know, you have to put it on the, on the bottom. This is, this is really, you know, our man is mixed up. Thousand pounds with a point pressure. With the, the farther, the farther this bolt reaches out, the less it can pull. 
But if he took straight up, he'd get the full yeah, 4,000 pounds. So, so, so it's not the best one. He used this one. He created one. He used a full dog jack. At 75 degrees, he took it straight up, right? But they're supposed to be, they're supposed to be an arrow here, right? Yeah. So at 75 degrees straight up, it should be able to pull 3,500 pounds. If it's straight, straight up, 90 well, degrees straight up, right? So that you don't have should to readjust the time. Pounds. But when it was laid down flat, like what you have here, like what you witnessed, it's only rated for 1,800. And that is at 7 feet, which is means the boom's already instructed in. Now, if he was able to take the boom all the way out, if he had to reach across the sidewalk, out there, he only has 800 pounds worth of point pressure. That's it. Yeah. Whereas, even if it was a, he had to reach out 15 feet, if it's going straight up, he still would only have a little less than 3,000 pounds worth of point pressure. This is all just simple, simple math, right? Yeah. And that truck has to get right up on the sidewalk to be able to reach out. We seven make feet. them in Washington State, but also in um, we have a manufacturer in Northern yeah. Indiana. Now, with 1,800 pounds of point pressure, we got 10,000 mm -hmm. pounds there. Indiana, definitely. That's our, that's our larger manufacturer. Yeah. And my theory is, is that if each one of these trucks had one of these on there, it's sure, well, we've had a lot of DOTs. The very first tool rental store that mm -hmm. I sold one to, I called it last month. We were trying to get, we were trying to get with DOTs. No, the first one we sold was still getting Our main customer right now is dispensers and landscapers and rental stores. Tool rental. So in other words, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, when you rent a car, you rent tools, you take yeah. it to your house, you don't treat it like it's your own. You're not changing the oil. No, no, no. I mean, it's like, well, he says it's beat up, the paint's all knocked off it, but he says it still works really well. And people are Have him go to the second there. position. It's math. It's just simple. Just math, simple math, like what I'm showing you here. Same thing there. And how they figure it out. Whatever your body weight is, so now, is what you could do is you could go into the six It's measured 45 times 47 inches. So if you're a 220 pound man, 47 inches divided by one, which is exactly one inch between the fulcrum and the load, which is your chimney, that comes out to about 10,000 or a little more pounds of pressure. This gentleman here was doing all that. They don't want to bite. 250 pounds, which is what I am. Over 47, came out to just about 12,000 pounds of pressure. Which doubles with the 24,000 when I put the rock bar in. And the rock bar, we're, we're guessing, if it's 72 inches. Y'all got a booth? In New Orleans, by yourself. We have our own separate room. Yes. Yeah. Are you gonna be there? No.